victims are coming forward tonight saying that they were scammed by a Harrison County woman. Taryn Applegate was arrested for pretending to have terminal cancer. WLKY's Marissa Alter is here now with reaction from people who gave her money. Marissa? Rick, Taryn Applegate hasn't been formally charged yet. That's because the prosecutor's office doesn't know yet how many theft charges she'll face or how much money total she allegedly raked in. A young mother of three battling an inoperable brain tumor. It's the kind of tragedy that makes you want to help, and apparently many did. We've been flooded with phone calls this morning. Everyone that's given donations is now calling us wanting to know where they stand. Because it turns out Taryn Applegate wasn't sick at all. Court documents show she admitted she lied, telling people she was dying and needed money for medical bills and even her own burial. Medical records confirmed the scam. Trinity Assembly of God Church in Harrison County gave Applegate $100. This person has chosen to use that same generosity that our community has that we're founded upon and manipulated that. Gun World and Sporting Goods in Corden donated a gift card and merchandise. Owner Michelle Edwards says she wasn't angry when she learned she'd been ripped off. I was sad that someone, you know, whatever her reasoning is, that she would um, have to stoop to that. Edwards says one of Applegate's family members shops there and solicited the help. But police say Applegate fooled them too, including her three children and fiance. Now, certainly, the set of circumstances and facts surrounding it are fairly bizarre. The Charlestown VFW post was the site of a May fundraiser. WLKY spoke with a veteran who was there, but asked not to be identified. They came together and with uh, volunteer bands, and we volunteered the building and. Anything we could do to help out what we were led to believe a worthy cause. He was surprised to learn the truth, but more than that, disappointed. Disheartened and what some people will, the depths that they will sink to. We certainly hope this does not detriment people in the future from donating to those um, individuals that truly do need the money because of a medical condition. The Harrison County Prosecutor's Office says formal charges against Applegate will be filed by the end of the day Wednesday. Applegate remains in the Harrison County Jail. Her family members were at the jail today, but refused to comment. I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News. Now, the Harrison County Sheriff learned of the scam from an anonymous tip. Investigators continue to look for more victims. Anyone who believes that they donated to Taryn Applegate's uh, cause should call the Sheriff's Department. That number, 812 738 2195.